Hi everyone. In this video we want to go over the rabbit digestive system, at least the parts of it that we want you to know for your exam. So let's take a look at that. So I have already opened up my rabbit and I have gone through and kind of separated some of the digestive system, although I didn't um, completely go through and separate all of uh, the mesentery from uh, the surrounding intestines. So bear with me um, as we go through this. This will be kind of like what your bunny looks like when you open it up. So starting out with, um, we have an esophagus that goes back that way. That is actually not one of the terms on your terms list, but it empties out into the stomach. So here's our stomach. That is beneath the liver, which you'll see the liver in a separate video. Um, tightly associated with the stomach is actually the spleen, which is not uh, necessarily part of the digestive system itself, but it can, uh, it plays a role in um, recycling uh, uh, blood cells. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, from the stomach, we empty out into the small intestine. The small intestine is made up of three parts. This first portion, um, and we're not going to go into the internal anatomy of the small intestine, so we won't actually see these major differences, but we could ask you conceptual questions like what are the three parts of the small intestine, for instance, in, in you know, in order, um, something along those lines. But the first part is called the duodenum. And on the duodenum of your rabbit, you will find um, this material that looks rather like uh, chewed up gum. Um, that, let me lift up the stomach here, this stuff, this glandular material is the pancreas. Okay, so it is on the duodenum, you have the uh, cranial pancreatico duodenal artery that extends to both the pancreas and the duodenum. Because they're so tightly associated with one another. Um, and actually, I think mine is uh, preserved somewhere, but we're not going to look at that in this video. So then continuing down from the duodenum, that uh, extends some, you know, some distance here. Um, and then we get the, the jejunum, followed by the ileum. And note that ileum is spelled differently here from the ileum we learned in osteology. So please be aware of that. We cannot accept um, the, uh, the, you know, bone spelling for the uh, portion of the small intestine. They're two very separate things. So we do need to make sure that those are spelled correctly. Okay, and where the small intestine meets the large intestine, we have a cecum. So the cecum in the rabbit is this big baggy offshoot right here. And at the end of that cecum is the vermiform appendix. And that is this. So one thing you can do um, with your rabbit is actually take all of this apart and you can see everything laid out really clearly. And we'll do that in another video. Um, this one is going to be, again, like what you will see in lab um, on Tuesday. So uh, just be prepared for that. Now, that cecum joins up with the small intestine, the ileum of the small intestine, um, and the large intestine, which is right here. There's a portion there that has a name that we're not going to cover. Um, and then there's this little thing that looks like, uh, Jackie describes it as a Muppet. <laughs> this is the Sacculus Rotundus. Um, I actually don't recall the function of the Sacculus Rotundus at this time, but I'm hoping that editor Aaron will uh, add it in there uh, for me. So, Sacculus Rotundus, that big baggy cecum, and the vermiform appendix at the end of that cecum that is kind of wrapped up here. Um, so there it is. We just follow it around and then we have our large intestine and one of the key features for identifying the large intestine um, uh, you might notice it right away is these folds so these are called hostra um, if you're of like hostral churning that's like uh, moving material through this upper portion of the large intestine um, they just kind of like move in some undulating fashion um, peristalsis, if I remember the term correctly. It's been a minute since I've had to deal with um, digestive things. Anyway, um, at the end of the large intestine, you might see some little rabbit pellets in the end of this large intestine, but uh, uh, 
unintentionally funny. Um, down here we have the rectum. And that actually covers all of the digestive system um, in particular that we want you to learn for this unit. There will be a separate video again on the um, liver. So take care, everyone. See you in lab.